Okay, so we know the Earth is spinning on its axis, and this spin has implications for the direction of the wind. We call this Coriolis. Now, you may have heard of the Coriolis effect or the Coriolis force, but this is not a real force. It's what we call an apparent force. It all depends on your point of view, whether you're looking down from above or, like most of us are, on the Earth, looking from below upwards. Now, this is quite a complicated sounding business, but I've got a simple experiment to show it here. Chopping board, we've got a, a disc of paper pinned to that chopping board, a ruler and a pen. I'm also gonna need a little bit of assistance, so Helen is joining me, and she's gonna spin the disc of paper as if it was the Earth, as if we were looking down from the North Pole, from above the North Pole. That means you need to rotate that disc anti-clockwise. I'm gonna draw a straight line along the ruler as Helen rotates that. And just look at what happens. The spin of the Earth means that that straight line is not straight. If you were looking from here, you'd see that the winds will be bending round to the right. That is Coriolis in action in the Northern Hemisphere. If it was the Southern Hemisphere, we were looking from below the South Pole, we would spin the disc the other way, clockwise. Try that at home and you will see that the winds bend the other way to the left. Now you may have heard that the Coriolis uh, makes the water spin down plug holes in different directions in different hemispheres. That turns out to actually be a bit of a myth. Uh, plug holes are just too small a scale for Coriolis to really have any impact. But it is the reason why low pressure systems and tropical storms rotate anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere, but clockwise in the southern hemisphere.